And following breaking news this morning, budget airline Wow Air just ceased operations overnight. 11 News reporter Jen Franciani live inside BWI Thurgood Marshall right now. One of 27 airports affected, and I guess folks are stranded there. Well, you know, the airport, the terminal here cleared out. Wow, a pretty lonely place to be. In fact, we talked with a woman who was supposed to fly out of BWI last night here at Wow Airlines. Her flight was supposed to have a connecting flight in Iceland to Dublin. That's her original destination. And she was supposed to leave at 7 o'clock last night. But Denise tells us this morning it would be 11 o'clock last night when they were finally told by the pilot that Wow was going nowhere, citing operational issues. Now, the airline itself not saying exactly why they have suspended all flights but all flights are canceled as of right now. Passengers being told basically they're being left to their own devices to find flights with other airlines. We spoke with a woman this morning who's here at the terminal who said she was told last night her flight would not be going to Dublin. That's where, or I'm sorry, Germany. That's where she's actually heading to. Very disappointed. She was told that she could uh, turn in a hotel voucher for an overnight stay. When she got to the hotel, she found out it wasn't good until tonight. So she made her way back here to the airport where she ultimately ended up spending the night. She has no idea what she's going to do. Passengers right now being told to check with their credit card companies to see if they're even eligible for a refund. So passengers, thousands stranded here at airports like BWI, but also in other countries waiting for their connecting flights to get back to their original destinations. A quick check of Twitter this morning. Uh, there is a family in Iceland right now waiting for their flight from WOW Airlines to come back here to Baltimore. They too are going to have to be making some other decisions. So news broke this morning, but some passengers found out late last night and they are not happy. Reporting live at the airport, Jen Franciotti. Now back to you guys.